black holes are the most powerful objects in the universe. Here's one example. What you're seeing is a black hole whose powerful gravitational attraction completely shreds a whole star and turns it into long spaghetti strands. Hence the term spaghettification, which was popularized by the famous physicist Stephen Hawking when he described the elongated shape that objects take on as they're pulled into a black hole. But besides being powerful, black holes are also among the largest and most massive objects in the known universe. The largest known black hole is currently TON618, with a diameter of about 242 billion miles. This size is too large to comprehend in everyday terms. To put it into perspective, light travels at a speed of 186,282 miles per second. So, it would take light over 41 years to travel 242 billion miles. One way to help understand such large distances is to compare them to well-known astronomical distances. For example, the average distance between the Earth and the Sun is approximately 93 million miles. So 242 billion miles is over 2,600 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Another example is if you were to travel at a speed of 60 miles per hour, it would take over 4 billion hours, or about 150,000 years, to travel a distance of 242 billion miles. And then, if you were to travel to the moon and back at a speed of 25,000 miles per hour, it would take over 95 million trips to travel a total distance of 242 billion miles. As for the mass, TON618 is about 66 billion solar masses, meaning it is 66 billion times more massive than the sun. The black hole is so massive that we use the sun as a more familiar and easily relatable reference. To put 66 billion solar masses into perspective, the sun has a mass of about 333,000 times that of the Earth. So a black hole with a mass of 66 billion solar masses is equivalent to over 218 trillion Earths. Although 242 billion miles is a large distance by human standards, it's relatively small on the grand scale of the universe. When we relate TON618 to other objects, the black hole looks puny. The diameter of the Milky Way galaxy, for example, is estimated to be about 100,000 light years, or about 588 quadrillion miles, so even the distance of 242 billion miles is relatively small in the grand scale of the universe. TON618 is a quasar, which is a supermassive black hole feeding on gas at the center of a galaxy and shooting jets of radiation at near the speed of light. The discovery of this supermassive black hole provides new insights into the formation and evolution of black holes and has important implications for our understanding of the universe as a whole. Supermassive black holes play a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies and are thought to be at the center of most, if not all, large galaxies, including our own Milky Way. While TON618 is currently considered to be the biggest black hole we found, keep in mind that as new observations and technologies are developed, the size of the largest known black hole could change, and there may even be larger black holes that have yet to be found. Scientists use several methods to determine the size and mass of a black hole. One method is to observe the behavior of matter that is near the black hole. For example, if a black hole is surrounded by a disk of gas and dust, scientists can study the way that the gas and dust move and emit radiation. This can provide information about the black hole's mass and how matter is behaving near the event horizon. Another method is to observe the effect of the black hole on its surroundings. For example, if a black hole is located near a star, scientists can observe the way that the star moves and changes over time, and this can provide information about the black hole's mass and size. Finally, scientists can use computer simulations and theoretical models to make predictions about the behavior of black holes and to test different theories about their properties. 
keep in mind that black holes are very difficult to study directly, as they're invisible and can only be detected by the effects they have on their surroundings. However, by using a combination of these different methods, scientists have been able to make significant progress in our understanding of black holes and their properties. Also, it's important to understand that black holes are not physical objects with a definite size or shape. They're rather regions of space-time. The event horizon is the boundary that separates the region of space where the black hole's gravitational pull is so strong that nothing can escape and the rest of the universe. The region beyond the event horizon is referred to as the black hole's interior, which is misleading because, as we said, a black hole is not a physical object. No one really knows what the region beyond the event horizon hides, and its nature is the subject of ongoing research and debate in the field of theoretical physics. Some theories propose that the interior of a black hole could be a bridge to another universe, or could contain a singular a point of infinite density where the laws of physics as we know them break down. The interior of a black hole is beyond the reach of current observational and experimental methods, so our understanding of what lies beyond the event horizon is based purely on theoretical models and simulations. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.